In everyday life, humans are constantly assessing risk and making decisions based on those assessments. What criterion is used when judging the characteristics or severity of a risk? And how does a person's affective state influence their perception of risk? Barcelona GSE affiliated professor Robin Hogarth has investigated the effects of various affective states on risk perception in everyday situations. As a student of economic behavior, it's always been a special interest to understand the way in which perceptions of risk affect behavior, because we know that that has a big impact. Unfortunately, we don't understand yet fully what are the non-economic variables that affect the perceptions of risk that people take. Professor Hogarth's research extends the economic analysis of risk by emphasizing human sensitivity to mood states and emotions in the subjective assessment of risk. One important question is whether people's perceptions of risk depend on whether or not they're actually taking a decision or thinking about doing it. So for example, imagine overtaking somebody and driving a car. What is your perception of the risks or the danger of that when you're actually doing it compared to before you do it or after you've just done it. Understanding questions such as this can help us unlock some of the mysteries of human behavior, which by economic standards appears to be unrational, but may in fact be quite helpful for individuals. The researchers collected data on individuals' perceptions of risk, mood states and emotional reactions by having them complete questionnaires when prompted by text messages sent to their cell phones at random moments during their working days. After completing 30 text message prompts, the subjects were asked to retrospectively reassess the risk of six of those occasions. Our findings show that people's assessments of risk made simultaneously are larger than their assessments made retrospectively. At one level, you might think this is due to a memory bias, i.e. we don't remember exactly how we felt at the moment we took the risk. On the other hand, I believe it probably could be explained more by emotions. In other words, when we take a risk, it's a hot situation, it's emotional. When you think about it subsequently, it's cold. And we tend to be more impacted by things that are hot than things that are cold. The most striking finding is that even simple measures of mood state and emotional reactions can indicate significant effects on perceptions of risk. Affective variables like mood and personal control turn out to have a import, very important impact on how people take risk. It turns out that mood and affect are just incredibly pervasive in people's perceptions of everyday risk. I see as an important challenge to economic models and economic theory to understand how to incorporate these, incorporate these kinds of factors into models of people's behavior so we can better predict how markets work. Mm -hmm.